Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a creative brochure design. And this is a fully editable. You can change the text, you can change the images. And then once done, you can just save as a PDF file and give to the printer. You can print it in A3 size, A4 size or A5 size, any size of your choice. And I have added one more brochure the same design but with three options only you can see here and again this is also fully editable so let's see how we can make this beautiful business brochure in powerpoint add a new slide go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down list select a4 paper and orientation let it be landscape and click ok then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle and width make it 3.62 inches and you can remove the outline and you can if you want you can just change the color then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the color again and just put it next to this light blue rectangle press ctrl d and change this color also and zoom out I'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select a rectangle again maybe this much size and rotate it in this way and bend it rotate further And then you can select all these three objects and merge shape say fragment so you can see here I can just remove the unwanted I'll just simply delete this one and you can see here I've got all these different shapes press ctrl Z and then I'm going to select this or you can zoom in select these two and here also go to format shape fill i'm going to fill this color and merge shape just say union so it becomes one object and then i'm going to select this and let's change the color of each one this one i'm going to make it a dark color i'll select this one i'm going to make it somewhat light color here also I'm going to make it a dark color and here I'm going to make it in a different way so you can see here I'm going to add one more shape but in the meantime I will fill this color with this and this also I'm going to fill it with some dark color here. Here I'm going to add some more shapes here. Go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and draw the rectangle. Maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. And touch this one till this. And then go to insert shapes, select a right triangle draw a right triangle and rotate it say flip vertical shape outline make it no outline and make sure that these two are properly aligned maybe you can zoom in and select these two align i will just say left and right also it should be properly aligned 
and bring this further down touch this and then i'm going to select these two images merge shape say union and i'm going to add a image later on and i'm going to do the one more image here so i'm going to add image in this particular shape right mouse click go to format shape and under fill select a picture fill by default this picture is selected because i have just selected a picture from there and then you can remove this rotate with shape and you can increase this one you can see here you can just play with this offset properties and likewise i'm just going to add one more picture here i'll just say picture and then i can just change any color or any image i want here so let me just select the right image for this maybe i can select where is that image yeah this image and insert and if again if you want you can just adjust it and remove this and then here i'm just going to add some text and icons go to insert shapes under basic shapes select hexagon draw the hexagon a smaller one and rotate it let me make it more smaller and put one here shape fill make it white shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d add one more if you want you can add three or if you want you can add four also it's up to you so I'm just going to add only three now and make sure that it got the equal spacing and proper alignment align left and align distribute vertically and then you add your text here add your text here and I'll make it light blue color this color i have selected ctrl d to duplicate add here ctrl d and then you can insert some icons to insert the icons go to insert select icons and you need to have an active internet connection for this so let me just select any icons three icons i will select it maybe one more insert and i'm going to give the dark color this one and put it here reduce the size and then this will be here and the last one is here and if you want you can add some titles also on the top text box just say your title t-i-t-l-e and i will use the font which is century gothic make it bold give the same color increase the size and put it here and control d you can write any heading here i'll just say headline and again you can add some detailed text below here or if you want to add some social media profiles also you can just add it here and in this section i'm going to add the company name or the logo if you have the logo just insert the logo in this circle 
make it white fill shape outline make it no outline and then you can give the company name I'll just say company name and here you can add your phone numbers or the email address or whatever I'll just make it right align you can give your phone number 01 whatever the number and add the icons also here the phone icon again you can go to insert and I can select the icon and then you can enter your email address and your company location and make sure that this is properly aligned format align right and you need to just add the icons here and this section I'm going to type the main heading I will just say this color the font will be dark color a little bit bigger and I'll just say the year 2020 or 2019 control D I'll just say business if you want you can give some lighter color also and all this should be right aligned and later on we can change the alignment and this will be I will just say brochure make it a dark color and increase the size so I'm just going to bring this down and this also and just select all these three text go to format align just say right and put in the right position and again if you want you can add some more text here light color text so you can see here almost we have uh, done our design and if you want you can do some more further changes so let me just do one more change I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and fill I will just select a solid fill white and press ctrl D to duplicate and this color I'm going to change the color similar to this dark color and bring this here reduce this white object and then select this dark and then the white merge shape just say subtract so you got this shape here and I will just go to the effects shadow effect and I'm going to select under inner I will select any of these and just put it on top of this one here so here you can see here it the image looks like a pop-up now and you can do the similar thing for this image as well now with this we have completed the brochure design and this is fully editable for example let me just go to my, this slide and here all fields are editable titles are editable headlines are all text are editable and even you can just change the image inside here example if you want to change just 
bring just move this for a while select this go to file and select any image of your choice i will just select maybe i have got this one selected and you put this back so it's very easy you can just uh, change it as per your requirement and this is uh, fully print ready you just need to change your text change the images and then to give to the printer you have to save as a pdf file go to save as and select a pdf here you can just say pdf here and just click the save button and that's it a uh, pdf file is ready whatever the file which you have selected the path i did not check where is that a pdf you can go to more options also and you can know that okay this is somewhere saved in this particular folder and then just give it to the printer he can print you in a4 size or a5 size or a3 size whatever size you need so that's it from me friends uh, hope you like this brochure design and don't forget to subscribe my powerpoint channel which is powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.